Hi, it's Randy Orr with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, team leader at the Aura Group, bringing you another great real estate tip, whether you're a buyer or a seller in today's market. The tip is to know the market, but I want to share with you a tool that we as real estate agents use to help us know the market, and that would be a number called an absorption rate. Now, how do you figure absorption rate? I'm going to tell you. You take the number of homes that are currently in escrow and the number of homes that are currently on the market and you use a little bit of math to come up with a formula that would demonstrate how many months it would take to deplete the inventory to zero, assuming not a new property were listed. Let me give you an example. A zip code or a city with 100 homes on the market and 25 homes in escrow, divide 100 by 25 and you come up with four months inventory or a supply of four months. If you have that same community with 100 homes on the market and let's say there are 10 in escrow, 100 divided by 10 would represent a 10 month supply of homes and if there were 50 homes in escrow and 100 homes on the market, you would divide 100 by 50 and come up with a 2 month supply. So what does all this mean? It's pretty simple. Somewhere between 4 and 6 months is what we consider a balanced market. Good number of homes on the market for a decent number of buyers and a balanced market so there's no bias in either direction. If there are less than four months of homes on the market or availability of homes on the market, we have what we would refer to as a seller's market because we have little inventory relative to how quickly homes are selling. If you have a large number of homes that are on the market relative to the number of homes that are in escrow, like that 10 month supply, anything over six months is considered a buyer's market because there's kind of too much inventory. So I hope this tool helps you understand how we evaluate the market, which would be an important thing to know whether you're if you're making up an offer on a property or if you're going to be listing your home you need to understand where the bias is is it in the favor of a buyer is it in favor of a seller and where exactly is it how polarized are these numbers or do you couch yourself in between four and six months which is a balanced market randy or with berkshire hathaway home services team leader at the or group changing lives one home at a time